Coach Cox. Yeah. So last year, as a gift, I got this thing called a tumble track. It is so awesome. We blow it up just like a moon bounce without a roof, and the kids learn how to do flips. Here are some clips from the kids jumping and training on Friday. Okay, here's one more tumble track video, and this is Bryn. She's deaf and blind, and we actually started a Facebook group to raise awareness for kids who are deaf blind and some of the cool things that her family and other people have done to overcome those challenges. She's jumping on the tumble track. Check it out. All right, look at these kids training real hard on Friday night and Saturday morning. No! Oh, All right, this next video is really cool. See, we had the entire group, parents and kids, all out on the mat at the same time. For about a minute, the parents attacked their own kids for self-defense move number one and number two, which was a choke. So the parents actually had to put their hands on their own kids' throats. But I want the kids to learn social skills. So what I did next is after a minute, I actually had the, the whole group rotate. So a whole set of kids are training with adults that are actually strangers. And this is what we did, check it out. Okay, team, now, what are we gonna do? Choke somebody else's kid, right? You can't just go around choking other people's kids, right? So before we start doing that, we need to make sure that you create that little bit of rapport first. So if you don't know who that kid is, the kid doesn't know who you are, if, the, if I say who's your partner and the kid goes, it, 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 that's not cool, right? I should be able to look at, look at that person and be like, my partner was Mr. Shanahan, and I know exactly what his name is. So parents, take a second, introduce yourself. The kids should introduce themselves. That way, next Saturday, when you guys come here, the kids walk in the door, and they're like, what's up, Miss Kim? They know you. They say hi to you first, because that's one of the signs of being a leader, be the first, right? So let's create that relationship real quick before we start. Then Mr. Shannon, you can crank it and you guys can start. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. It's really important to me that we have a nice little community inside of our bigger community, which is Elkton, Maryland. So inside Super Dojo, every parent knows every kid. Every kid can trust every parent because every parent knows their kid's friend's parents. So they go to each other's houses for sleepovers and birthday parties, and that's what it's all about. So the next time a kid comes into class, they don't just look at the adults like strangers, but they look at them like neighbors. <laughs> 